Hey guys, I'm Sean with Fit Student UK and today I'm going to start preparing you for your first week at uni. It's just over a month away now, so you need to be ready. You're off to uni. It's fresh this week. You've done it before. You know it's fun. If you're new to uni, you're for a bit of a shock, but it's a good one, so don't worry. But Freshers isn't all about going out, drinking and making new friends, although that's probably a pretty important part of it. It's also a great time to learn about your new home, because in between those hours out at night, there's a ton of hours in the day that you'll have free and probably not know what to do with them. There's a lot to get done, and so right through August, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about your first week. Now, packing isn't strictly part of Freshers' Week, but it's pretty essential unless you want to be at uni naked in an equally naked room. If you've ever packed for anything at all before, you know it can be confusing, stressful, and you always forget something. That's why the first thing to be covered in this Your First series is packing. I'm going to tell you absolutely everything you might need to pack, some of the things you might not essentially need, but you might want to take anyway, how to actually put it all together, and even how to get it there. Keep an eye out for that, and you can thank me once you get to uni safe in the knowledge that you've got everything you'll absolutely need. There's not gonna be uh, your first installment on this, but it's something you wanna plan on getting done anyway. With all those free hours you'll have in between a couple of lectures maybe, and being out, explore. Take all that free time to do something, now, you'll probably get an area map when you get to halls. You've probably got one when you were sitting at home from uni as well. You'll probably get one from someone on the street giving them out. And you'll probably get like an A to Z or something off your nan who doesn't quite grasp the idea of the 21st century in Google Maps yet. So use your nice new map to find your local uni buildings, your lecture halls, the local shops, stationary shops, and anywhere else you might want to plan on going. Plus, there'll most likely be a load of students out there who've been hired by companies or the uni themselves to give away free stuff. So while you're walking around trying to find your way, you get a ton of free stuff too, which isn't a bad thing. And that might be stationery, food vouchers, free entry into bars and clubs. There'll be a ton of stuff you can get. So make the most of it. Grab every bag from every angle. Some of it might just be flyers and junk, but you can work that out when you get home. As well as uni buildings and places around uni, you're going to need to know where your local supermarket is, where the town centre is, where there's any kind of bookstores, any restaurants, cinemas, or anywhere else you want to do anything fun. So make sure you know where those are too. Oh, and it might be a good idea to find out how long it actually takes you to get to these places. So you don't turn up late or you have a decent plan in terms of how long it's going to take you to do your shopping. You don't want to be late on your first week, do you? Once you know where your local shops are, you're going to need to start learning how to actually do your shopping. Now that might sound stupid, but trust me, there are certain ways that you can actually do your shopping to save you time, effort and money. Now this one will have its own Your First instalment, so make sure you keep an eye out for that so you have your shopping going like a breeze. If you're watching this video, I think it's probably pretty safe to assume you plan on doing some kind of training. That means finding your local gym, finding the local park, or anywhere else you might fancy doing a bit of training. Are you going to bring anything with you to do any kind of training? You know, maybe a yoga mat or a little set of dumbbells. You need to learn to make the most of the space you've got in your new home in terms of your student accommodation, the places outside, so you can train anywhere. So you've got your shopping, you've got your training planned. Now you need to know how to actually cook that food to keep your brain and your body on point. I'm gonna take you right through building up your food prep skill level to master how to cook food, store it, and just make your fit student life super simple and super healthy. So make sure you check out every video we bring out in the Your First series to keep your student life running smooth and set you up for the rest of the year. And then if you have all of these things in place, you're sorted. Your year should run smooth, you'll get things done, as long as you stay organised. Next up in this series is your first pack. See you next time. So we're back. 
You have already noticed we've had a little bit of a redesign. We've got a whole new design with a new color scheme, new layout, 